At Welcome to Road Science, I'm Darcy Rogers, your Technical Development Manager. Today, I want to give you a bit of an overview about how to correctly apply Ultramender. You know, I know a number of you have been out there using it with some really great success, with a few of you reporting up to 30% reduction in maintenance costs. We've also been getting some feedback from you about the foaming issues you're seeing on site. There's normally two reasons why this happens. One is you're putting Ultramender on too thick, or you're putting Ultramender onto a wet surface. When this product reacts, a carbon dioxide gas starts forming within the product and will bubble up through the binder. If you put it on too thick, then it's got a long way for this gas to travel through the, the product. But if you put it onto a wet surface, uh, it also causes it to react a lot faster, so you get more of this gas forming and therefore more foaming. First one we've got here, I'm going to show you how to correctly apply Ultramender. I appreciate this isn't just like the surface of your road, but it's similar. Um, so the key thing we're going to remember here is we're going to apply it as thin as possible. Uh, the best way to apply it really thin is to use a coarse bristled broom. I know this isn't a broom, but it's very similar. Just for the purpose of this demo, just bear with me. So I'm going to grab some Ultramender and we're going to pour it onto the surface as so. You want to put, don't want to pour too much on because you want to try and make sure that application stays nice and thin. And what we'll do is just spread it out as thin as we can on the surface. So we'll leave that one to cure for a little bit and we'll move on to the case where it's been applied too thick so we can see the difference between the two. I'm going to pour it on really, really thick. So when it reacts, it's going to have a longer path for that, that foam to travel through it and therefore we're going to have more foaming at the end of it. It's a nice thick application there. So in the final case, I'm going to apply some water to the surface. So in this case, it's going to be too wet. It's a nice wet surface there. We'll pour our binder on there again. And then we're going to spread it out. This product actually reacts with water, so it reacts really, really quickly. And because it's reacting so quickly, we're generating a lot of gas, therefore we should get a lot more foaming. So we'll leave these for a little while, and we'll come back and check to see what the final surface looks like. Now you can see the Ultramender is completely cured in all three cases. So let's take a look at how the final surface finish looks. So now you can see here the one that was correctly applied has minimal foaming whereas the one that was put on too thick and the one that had the wet surface both have significantly more foaming. So hopefully this has given you a bit of an overview about how to correctly apply Ultramender and avoid that foaming issue. Mm -hmm.